What's up, addicts? Welcome to the Fantasy Addiction Network. In this video, we're going to be doing a pre-draft breakdown of quarterback Jake Fromm, giving you guys a rookie analysis of what we expect to see from him heading into the NFL draft. Hey, before we get started, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more content, and let's get going. Started, check out the link in the description. We are offering a free tail kickoff special for our fan companion tool. Uh, you get access all the way up into the kickoff of the NFL season for absolutely free, so make sure you check out that link. All right, breaking down Jake from quarterback of Georgia. Now, lots of people are speculating right now as to whether or not there's going to be uh, basically between three and five quarterbacks drafted in the first round. Jake Fromm's name definitely gets thrown around in those conversations. I think it's pretty much a foregone conclusion right now that Joe Burrow and Tua Tagovailoa are going to be um, in the first round. I also think that Justin Herbert is most likely going to be a first round pick. Jake Fromm and Jordan Love are the two guys that are a bit more fringy in my opinion, but I could definitely see NFL teams talking themselves into their prospect. From a fantasy perspective, production perspective, Jake Fromm is your standard pocket passer. He doesn't offer anything in the way of a ground game and uh, which really hurts fantasy pers- uh, from a fantasy perspective because a lot of quarterback production, especially from rookies, is typically reliant on them getting a lot done on the ground. You're not going to get that from Jake Fromm. 501 40 time, that's 16th percentile. Uh, no burst, no agility. Just He didn't run the ball in college at all, as you can see from his rushing yards. 79 yards in his, uh, jun- in, sorry, in his freshman year, and then didn't even have any positive rushing yards in the sophomore and junior year. Obviously, it gets negated due to sacks, but still, no positive rushing yards. Three touchdowns in his first year, no touchdowns in his sophomore or junior year. That doesn't run the ball. So you're not going to get that from him. And he also lacks deep ball accuracy, or not even deep ball accuracy. He just doesn't have quite the arm strength that you see out of some of the other uh, athletic profiles. So why are uh, NFL teams enamored by Jake Fromm? Well, at least from a mental perspective, the way he goes through his progressions, the way he can trick uh, defenders with his eyes, um, just his mental space about the game, knowing when to throw the ball away, knowing when to uh, move back to the check down, throwing to DeAndre Swift rather than trying to force a big play. He has a solid quarterbacking head on his shoulders. Arguably one of the best, if not the best in this class in terms of knowledge of the game. So a lot of what he lacks right now is things that could potentially be worked on. Some of his arm strength issues comes from his uh, inability or not I don't want to say inability, just he doesn't bend his knee when he throws, uh, which is giving him less leverage uh, in order to make those deep, deep throws. But he's accurate in short and intermediate routes, and he makes smart decisions. So there's reason to understand why a lot of coaches across the NFL are enamored by him. And I could definitely see him going to a team like the Patriots that um, appreciates that type of mental aspect of the game and also isn't too focused on trying to make big plays like Patrick Mahomes. It's just more focused on keeping the offense moving. So when we look at his stats, decently impressive, 80.9 uh, college quarterback rating in the 77th percentile. Like I said, less arm strength is going to lead to a lower yards per attempt, 56th percentile there, not the worst. Um, in his uh, freshman year, Actually, a 291 pass attempts, 2,600 yards, 62% completion percentage, 24 to 7 touchdown interception ratio. Uh, year two goes up a little bit in yards to 2,761, uh, 67% completion percentage, 30 to 6 touchdown interception ratio. You see his interceptions go down by one every year. Less touchdowns this last year, but again, more yards, 2,860, 60% completion percentage. So again, just kind of keeps it um, pretty, he's been pretty steady every single year and playing in uh, the SEC or Georgia, definitely playing against good competition on defense. Um, So again, there's a lot to like from Jake from from a production standpoint uh, and just overall from what he could potentially do in the NFL, but that lack of a running game is really gonna hamper his ability to do anything uh, from fantasy at least early on. And especially 
if he doesn't go in the first round, most likely not going to be projected as a starter in year one. Uh, probably going to be a guy that, unless you have an incredibly deep bench, will probably find his way to waiver wires in a lot of leagues. So if you're talking uh, super flex dynasty, probably somewhere around the third or fourth round is where you'd be looking to draft him. And in a single quarterback league, you're probably not going to be too interested in taking him maybe as a flyer in the fourth round. But again, um, I don't project him to do anything in this first year. Again, that's going to depend on where he ends up going. If he goes to a place like the Patriots, I think that would be the only place in the NFL right now where I could actually foresee him being a starter pretty early on in the season. But even then, I don't think that Bill Belichick would uh, throw a rookie quarterback out there immediately. There's going to be a very low window of opportunity for him to score in year one. And again, um, that lack of rushing ability is going to hamper his overall fantasy production as long as the standard rules for fantasy continue to award quarterbacks that run the ball more than pass. So unless Jake Fromm lands himself in a gorgeous situation where he can't not produce, it's going to be hard to see him as a very useful fantasy asset anytime in the near future. So take that for what it's worth. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out my website, fantasyaddictionnetwork.com, for more information on all of the rookies in this class. See how I have all of them rated as well. I've got rookie rankings on that website, so make sure you check that out. And we will see you in the next video.